I'm still on the train. Just got off of work, tired, stressful. Denise Wilson was at the end of a long day last week, riding the subway home to Brooklyn, when she overheard two strangers sitting across from her. He was just telling a guy, you know, I'm, four, I'm in my 40s, and all of this is like new to me, so I got to relearn this to teach my son because he failed a math test. Fractions, said the father, who's sitting on the right, flipping through math worksheets in his lap. When I say I started tearing up, <laughs> I was that warmed my heart, and I snapped the picture. She posted it to Facebook, writing, The stranger on the left responded, I used to be a math teacher, then started quizzing the father with his folder. Everything he got wrong or was confused about, he broke it down and corrected him. It's been around uh, 30 years, I would say, since I did fractions. Corey Simmons admits he's never been much of a math student, but once Corey Jr. started struggling in third grade, it was time to revisit some old lessons. It doesn't matter if you fail, it's what you do after you fail. The men eventually got off at different subway stops. Simmons told us between all the numbers, he never caught the math tutor's name. Neither did Wilson, even though her post has since been shared more than 40,000 times. It was just one person helping another, and I thought that was, like, beautiful. As for the fractions... We halfway there, but I wouldn't say we mastered the whole fraction thing yet. But maybe math was the second most important lesson Simmons brought home from his train ride. You need help sometimes, and you shouldn't want to bite your tongue to not ask for the help. So don't <laughs> feel shy to ask someone for help. It's okay. A lesson junior already seems to have a good grasp on, thanks to dad. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. <laughs> and Mr. Simmons there says he's still hoping someone will recognize the other man in the photo so he can properly thank him mm. once again.